Law enforcement all across the state continuing to look for an inmate and a corrections officer who have apparently been on the run for now four days. That's our top story on News 19 at 5. I'm Christine Kellemeyer. And I'm Greg Screws. And at this moment, we do not know what vehicle they may be driving or where they may be heading. So take a look at your screen right now. These are the two people law enforcement are looking for, Casey White and Vicki White. Casey White charged with capital murder in the connection to a death of a woman in 2015 and was already serving 75 years in prison after being convicted for attempted murder, burglary, and kidnapping. Vicki White is the assistant director of corrections at the Lauderdale County Jail and has been with the sheriff's office for 16 years. So if you, call, if you see either one of these people, don't approach them. Call 911 immediately. Now, News 19's Jerry Hayes joins us live in Lauderdale County following the story. So, Jerry, there's a lot of details that surround the situation. Well, Christine, right now, the biggest two questions over this situation are where are they now? And how did Vicki White become involved with an inmate accused of murder? The Lauderdale County Sheriff Rick Singleton says that she's had a good record over the 16 years that she's been with the Sheriff's Department. But the day before she disappeared, she actually turned in her retirement papers. Earlier today, the Sheriff's Office issued an arrest warrant for Vicki White in connection to Casey White's escape. The Sheriff sees, uh, says that he cannot be certain if she was coerced or even if there was a romantic relationship between the two, but for now, she is a suspect in this case. News 19's Addison Woolman was at the news conference earlier this morning. And Addison, what led the sheriff to believe that Vicki White was involved? Jerry, surveillance footage shows that White was stopped at a red light miles away from the Lauderdale County Courthouse only minutes after leaving the Lauderdale County Detention Center with Casey White. Vicki White told other officers that she was transporting him to the Lauderdale County Courthouse for a mental health evaluation, but the tape tells a different story. The sheriff says under department policy, a single officer should never transport an inmate charged with capital murder alone, let alone one like Casey White, who is not only six foot nine and nearly 300 pounds, he has a history of escape attempts and violence. Uh, that video was time stamped at 9.49 a.m. Uh, Director White and Casey White left the detention center at 9.41 a.m. There was not enough time for them to even attempt to try to come to the courthouse uh, and then get out there and be at that red light eight minutes later. According to Sheriff Singleton, Vicki White had talked about retiring for months, and Friday was supposed to be her last day working at the jail. She had told co-workers she planned to visit the beach. News 19 has now learned that Vicki White actually sold her home for $95,500 on April 18th. The U.S. Marshal Service is offering a $10,000 reward for any information that would lead to the arrest of Vicki and Casey White. The FBI, ATF, Secret Service, and Alabama Law Enforcement Agency are assisting in the search to find these two. For now, though, live in Lauderdale County, Addison Woman, News 19.